breaking news. Witness the ongoing exodus as Americans continue to abandon major cities. Well, people are moving out of LA County. The population dropped more than anywhere else in the country. The higher priced counties are actually shrinking and the lower priced counties are growing. Exemplified by a staggering 260,000 individuals that left Manhattan. In a noteworthy trend, more than a quarter of all home buyers in the United States, precisely 26%, sought relocation to different parts of the country during the summer. This figure marks an increase from 24% just a year ago, and a mere 19% before the pandemic swept our shores. Redfin, a renowned real estate agency, utilized the Home Buyer Demand Index to monitor the frequency of home tour requests and related services. Astonishingly, this index has plummeted by a significant 3% from last year. Furthermore, mortgage purchase applications have taken a substantial hit, dropping by almost 23%. Despite these trends, it is crucial to note that inventory levels have decreased more than the demand for homes. Many homeowners continue to benefit from relatively low mortgage rates, prompting them to retain their properties. The consequence? Prices are on the rise due to a scarcity of supply. The noticeable trend of Americans forsaking major cities appears to be gaining momentum. This demographic shift can be attributed to various factors, including high living costs and the sudden changes brought about by the pandemic. While not a new phenomenon, recent population growth patterns show a persistent trend of people gravitating towards smaller towns and cities over the past few decades. Home sellers are flocking away from these urban areas for valid reasons. The market has become increasingly competitive, making it challenging to sell. The housing market is currently experiencing an unusual phase, with prices soaring despite subdued demand. Before I reveal why home sellers are fleeing these states, please take two seconds to help me out and hit the like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. Each like and subscribe is fuel for the algorithm that helps support this channel. Thank you. Now. Back to what I was saying. Currently, new listings are down by a significant margin when compared to the last year. The overall number of homes for sale has declined, creating the biggest drop in 18 months. This has resulted in a domino effect, causing more than a 15% drop in pending sales, partly because of the current lack of inventory. It's undoubtedly challenging for those interested in buying their dream home and struggling to find available properties on the market. But that's only the beginning. What's driving this exodus and how can it affect you as a homeowner? If you're wondering which states people abandon in droves, we've narrowed it down to eight. Number one, California. California is currently experiencing a surge in people moving out of the state. Sadly, this phenomenon is not new and has continued year after year. More cities in California are now witnessing a rise in the number of individuals packing their bags and leaving. What's causing this mass exodus? Well, it all comes down to the high taxes imposed on residents, including local, state, and city taxes, depending on where you live in the Golden State. Even the sales tax is a bit too steep for some people. Furthermore, the two cities witnessing the most significant outflows of residents are Los Angeles and San Francisco. In close proximity, areas such as Stockton and Modesto are also experiencing substantial population departures. But wait, there's more. This year, a few new cities in California have joined the list, including San Diego, Sacramento, and Santa Barbara. It's hard to ignore the issue when the facts speak for themselves. Why are so many people leaving California? Could it be that companies are pressuring their employees to come back to their physical office? Or is it because so many people have found remote work a better fit for their lives? Whatever the reason, it seems that the appeal of California is losing out to other states that offer warmer temperatures, more affordable living, greater access to the outdoors, and less crowded cities. It's not just about the weather either. When you consider California's high cost of living, it's easy to see why so many people are packing up and leaving for greener pastures. Plenty of states offer a much lower cost of living, meaning people can stretch their dollars further and enjoy a better quality of life. Number two, Massachusetts. Have you heard that Massachusetts is losing some of its residents? It's true. In fact, last year, the state saw a net loss of 15,489 households. That's quite a big drop. Some publications point to retirement and work motives for this population decline. You might think, wait a minute, isn't Massachusetts doing well economically? And you'd be right. 
Recent history shows strong GDP growth and a robust economy. But here's the thing. Neighboring states are pushing towards remote work, meaning families can now leave high-density population areas like cities and opt for a more suburban lifestyle beyond Massachusetts' borders. It makes sense, right? If you can keep your job but enjoy a more peaceful, less crowded way of life, why not take advantage of that opportunity? Even though Massachusetts is a lovely state, it's not the only place to live. And if people can maintain their careers while improving their quality of life, it's no surprise that they might choose to move elsewhere. Number 3. Indiana Last year, Indiana witnessed a significant population drop of around 12,000 families. The reason behind this is inadequate compensation despite the state's low cost of living. The matter of fact is that neighboring states of Indiana pay more handsomely to their workers, which is a major reason why job seekers are exploring opportunities outside Indiana. To add fuel to the fire, the state imposes taxes on retired individuals' income, further discouraging people from staying. Retired people on a fixed income may find better opportunities in other states. This current trend of the population drain in Indiana may have various other factors contributing to it besides inadequate salary and taxes on retired individuals. Number 4. New York It seems that it's become fashionable to bid farewell to the hustle and bustle of New York City. The soaring expenses of living, coupled with mounting local, state, and federal taxes, are compelling many to seek greener pastures. Many professionals in the technology and banking industries who have spent countless hours chained to their desks have found remote work to be a better fit. The pandemic has allowed them to work from anywhere, leading many to move away from the city and perhaps closer to family. Last year, New York saw a staggering net loss of over 75,000 families, a troubling number, but the trend isn't limited to New York alone. Across the country, countless individuals seek a better quality of life and peace of mind, often by moving to more affordable and picturesque locations. The allure of a balanced lifestyle combined with the shift toward remote work possibilities has fueled a widespread movement away from the urban confines of New York and towards destinations offering a more favorable living environment. Number 5. Washington Washington, ranking as the fifth state on our list, is witnessing a notable exodus and the reasons are becoming clearer. Residents of Oregon and Idaho have felt the financial strain due to the ever-increasing cost of living in these states. However, Oregon provides some relief with a 7% lower cost of living compared to other states in the West, while Idaho is renowned for having the lowest cost of living in the region. Compounding the challenges posed by living expenses is the persistent housing crisis that has deepened over the years. With the surge in remote work opportunities, individuals are now considering the prospect of settling in more affordable states. This migration trend is evident in Washington, the Evergreen State, where over 13,000 families relocated last year, driven by the escalating expenses. The critical issue of housing affordability, echoing nationwide, has significantly restricted residents' choice to remain in Washington. The state's substantial cost of living and the limited availability of affordable housing options have compelled people to seek residence in more economical states like Idaho and Oregon. Number 6. Wisconsin Wisconsin experienced a major population decline last year. Actually, around 10,000 more families packed up and moved out of the state than those who moved in. That's pretty significant, right? Of course, there are a lot of different factors that contribute to this decline. One of the biggest issues was the impact of the pandemic. Many people lost their jobs or experienced financial instability, making it harder to survive. A lot of folks found themselves struggling to keep up with their bills and other expenses, which made the idea of packing up and leaving seem more appealing. However, there were additional factors influencing these decisions. For instance, many individuals discovered a desire to be closer to family amidst these uncertain times. With travel restrictions and various limitations in place, it made practical sense to relocate to be with loved ones and ensure everyone's safety and security. Moreover, the current employment market facilitated easier relocations if necessary. Remote work and other opportunities made it possible to move without compromising one's job opportunities. Number 7. Colorado Colorado used to be a big-time swing state. Politics were always up for grabs there, but things have changed in recent years, and now it looks pretty blue. That's right, the political climate has shifted towards the left. But it's not just politics that's driving people out of Colorado. Conservatives, in particular, are uprooting and heading for places like Texas and Arizona. 
Last year alone, a whopping 12,145 families left the state. And while politics may be one reason, it's not the only one. The high cost of living is another huge factor. Real estate prices are through the roof, and a lot of people are getting priced out of the housing market. Add in the nightmare of traffic congestion, increasing crime rates, and pollution, and it's no surprise that so many people are deciding to leave Colorado. Number 8. Michigan If you look at Michigan these days, you'll notice it's split right down the middle. The state's population can almost be divided into three equal parts. And why is that? Well, families are packing up and heading out for greener pastures. Some are leaving to retire in a warmer climate, others because they want to be closer to extended family. But perhaps the biggest reason for leaving is Michigan's lack of job opportunities. Even though there's a nationwide worker shortage, many folks just can't find work in their field. It's not just older folks who are leaving either. Young families who might otherwise be starting in Michigan feel they have a better chance of success if they look for work elsewhere. Even though Michigan is doing a lot to try to create more jobs and improve working conditions, it just isn't enough to keep people from packing up and leaving. In fact, Michigan lost almost 11,000 households just last year. That's a pretty significant number. Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and be sure to leave a comment below letting me know if you ever think about moving to another state.